Hey there, what's up? What's up? Welcome to Ask Lip Golf Live Show, your daily dose of golf every single night during this lockdown period in Singapore. We call it Circuit Breaker, and we're gonna be here to at least June 1st for every single night. Welcome to my show. This is for you, all the viewers out there, all the golfers out there, all the golf khakis, golf enthusiasts, juniors, adults, seasoned golfers, pros, anyone out there. It's all for you. This is where you can send me your swings, your questions, whatever videos you have that you want indoor or outdoor, any question that's bugging you or things that you are not able to fix, you're looking for an answer, this is the show for you. Drop it in. If you want me to cover during the show, I'll normally do it during the show. If not, just tell me that you're not comfortable doing me showing you the show, and I can advise you offline. Okay. Let's warm up while everybody is here. You ready? Go up the sky, hands above the head, go sideways, around the wall, do 10. Nine, ten, very good. Whew, that's a warming up session. Welcome, welcome, brothers and sisters, golfers out there. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Now let's get down. Let's do some fitness. Yeah, let's okay. Some time for fitness. Let's get down. Push up, planking, Iron Man. Let's do that. You ready? Okay, go. One. Two. Up, Samo. Up and go. Woo. Ah, oh, that was good. Woo. Always push it a little bit. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Next thing you know, we started with 10 push up I started with 10 push up Now I'm doing 20. I did 30 the other day. I was pretty pumped. I'm probably 40 next week, yeah? On tomorrow, never know. All from Malaysia. I know you guys are excited tomorrow. What you have learned, hopefully, during this, this past one, two weeks with the tips I'm giving to you. Bring it out there. Be brave, be bold. Things are not going to happen quick, right? There's no fast route to success. It takes a lot of hard work. Go to the range if you can, hit some balls before you head out, no expectation. Continue to work on that, you know it's going to work for you. You're feeling it, you're feeling the difference. Bring it out there to the golf course and continue to work from there. Okay, remember I talked about your practice, so we're going to talk a little bit more as we go on how you practice once you're out of the range, once you transit to the golf course, that's, that's transition period. How you're going to maximize those period and how you practice more effectively and make it more fruitful. Well, uh, Darren, just so happened that they... Uh, uh, Jonathan was asking about a putting, uh, putting tip and so happened Darren also texted me in detail he wants to he has a question about putting uh, Jonathan uh, Darren is the one that has the hook inside out way inside out probably four lessons ago okay five last five days ago way inside out where he hooks everything so he's got a lot of major changes to do okay to fix that he has, has that for a long time so uh, hopefully he gets to play a little better now. Today, he's asking how to solve the knocking problem. Okay, when we talk about knocking on putting, um, in general, it can be a problem. Uh, not a good way to putt. But if you putt on slow greens, this is actually a good method to putt. Slow and grainy greens. For example, if tour players are in Taiwan, they always travel there and play a little earlier because the greens are a little slower and grainier. So they use the knocking method. Now what it refers to knocking method is in Chinese, in Mandarin, we call it qiao, right? You knock it, okay? See that? That's a knocking action. Dong. Imagine you're ringing, you're hitting a, a bell, right? Dong. Dong. So you take it up, at impact you stopped. Yeah, you stop it right there. 
Okay, so parting is the same thing. When you knock, you get a little bit wristy, and you stop right there. Yeah, that's a knocking part. Okay, um, actually that method is good if you have a very long part and you have a very up long, could be 100 feet away, or going uphill, steep uphill, two tier, three tier, that you want to knock it from the outside of the green even. Okay, that's a good action to have because the knock gives you the wrist action that will boom, you kick your ball much further and faster all the way through. So I, I use that method a lot for my long putt. Okay? Let's go. Big, big, bring it in, get a little knock, a little follow through, that's all. Short follow through, little knock. Okay? Doom. Okay? Get that. So it's good for long putts. But when you get fast greens, and you get a smooth, sleeky downhill putt, that's not a good putting strokes to have. So you still need to learn the stroke, the fluid stroke, the release that you're gonna have. So, so uh, Darren, to do away with the knocking, how do you practice that? Now, what, why, first you understand why first. Why do you have a knocking putt and not a stroking putt? Now, the key is this, there are two ways of looking at it. Number one, the knocking part is created because for a short part, you are taking your backswing too far back. Oh, before doing that, don't wear a glove when you putt, okay? Uh, for ladies, amateurs, you can wear both glove player, it's fine. Uh, when you get to single handicap or you want to get a better feel for your short game, doesn't matter what level you are, if you, know, if you don't mind the inconvenience, take it out you know, every time you reach the short game uh, for putting. You want to feel the grip, you want to feel the club a little better, and the stroke, all right? So, back to the knocking part there. Now, why you knock? Because for a short part like this, your backswing, chances are your backswing is too big. Very common. You don't have enough control. You take a big backswing, so by the time your, your, your body subconscious will say, hey, that's too far back. So you have to ease off at impact. So you slow down at impact and you stop it here at impact, okay? You don't slow down fast enough, boom. You could just jab, okay? Have you seen the, the cartoon Road Runner? <laughs> um, I'm not sure it's popular among the kids now, but Road Runner, right? You go speedy, Gonzalez, or you speed, right? It goes zoom, and stops, right? Same theory applies, okay? I like to use that analogy, Road Runner, okay? So you wanna go out and boom, and stop right there, right? Too big, too big of a backswing, you have to stop right at the ball or slow it down. That's where you get the knock. And suddenly you go, boom, ball flies past. So a four foot putt, you, you have four, five, you have another five, six foot coming back. So you don't want that. That's one reason why you have that. Another reason why you have a knocking putt is because your momentum is too quick. Your rhythm of your putting stroke is too quick. You're going to go one, two, right? You're going to go one, two. Okay? You're going too quick. When you go too quick, again, same thing. You're generating speed on the club, okay? So what happened? Your subconscious says, squeeze it and stop it. Okay? You're gonna squeeze it and stop it, and that's where you get the knock, okay? So you don't want that as well. When it comes to chip and putt anything around the green, focus on these two things. Soft grip, slow swing. Soft grip, slow swing. Everything slow it down. That's the difference between golf and a lot of sport. You need adrenaline when you drive, when you hit it on the, on the fairway for the swing wise to get the power. But the moment you're around the green, the moment you're on the green, you need to calm yourself down. You need to slow everything down. We'll talk about that later on towards the chat part. How to do that. Okay? So, two, two, two things that's causing it. One, your backswing is too big. Number two, all right, you're stopping it. Number two, you're going too quick, back and forth. So, you will cause that knocking action too quick. Your ball's gonna go past. So the key to find to do that is slow it down, start with enough backswing to roll the ball to the hole. Uh, this is also a very good practice. When you're on any green, putt downhill. Okay? Those who have knocking problem, practice downhill putt. Quick greens, whatever it is, go quick. And you want to practice your ball going, even though it's flat, it's fine. Okay? You have putting mat at home, okay? Put just enough for the ball to roll in. Just enough. Enough strength for the ball to roll in. That's where you want to be. 
Okay, learn to control that strength just enough to get there. If you're on the putting green, if you start tomorrow, you're going out, you want to practice some, put the ball to the edge of the green, right? You have the collar, right? So if anywhere you are, just find a putt, try to stop it just without touching uh, the, 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 the collar, the apron. So that's a good practice to have. Why I say that? Because the faster the ball goes, the more speed you have, the smaller the hole becomes. Does that make sense? Got it? Because the strength is too fast, the ball is going to hit the edge of the cup, it's not going to, energy is not going to roll in, it's energy is going to roll it out because it's too quick. Right? So if you have a soft part, enough to get it to the hole, your ball is going to drop in, even though it hits the lip and the side. It's going to roll in because energy is soft going into the hole. Unless you have an uphill part, of course, you can go a little, fir a little firmer. All right, you can go firm on that. If you come from the slow greens, of course, you can just, just go firm on it. But most greens are getting quicker. Malaysian greens are quick. Singapore greens are catching up. We're still a little bit behind, nine feet. Uh, but Malaysian greens are 10, 11, 12. Uh, you know, Kota Pramine, you go, you go Horizon Hills. Well, they're they are rolling at 11 every single day, which is brilliant. But in Singapore, we don't get that luxury. Yeah? Majority are still around eight and a half, nine. Nine-ish, but except with the exception to a few that's rolling at eleven and ten. All right. So uh, this will also apply when we get out there. Remember, we talked about the golf hole is going to shallow up. Yeah, we talked about that uh, one or two days ago, and uh, we shared the information that all because of the touching of the hands on the ball picking up from the deep bottom, your hands going to touch the flag stick. So you don't want that. So every all the all the cups should be shallow up. So, right? so when it's shallow up with the pin in there, what's going to happen? Are you going to slam it hard? You cannot. Your ball is going to come back out. Okay? So learn to putt. This is like a practice putting green, right? The cup is shallower. Right? You putt it too hard, the ball will come up. Or you have practice putt, you have three, four balls inside. But you try to drop the ball inside. Try to sneak the, the third ball, the fourth ball in there. Just enough to roll it in and stop it on the, green, on, on the hole above the surface. So that's the good practice to have. Enough speed to get into the hole. Um, so that will solve the problem of your, your new golfing technique too. So this is what you're going to do. Slow down. Deep breath. Calm yourself down. Before you putt, go through your entire routine. Whatever you do, stand behind you if you have one. Visualization. Focus. Line. Get to the ball. Nice and slow. Okay, Your stroke is going to be slow, short and through short and true slow short and true start short first once you start getting to the hole that then that's that's all you need you're gonna feel very short backswing okay um if you start going over keep shortening your backswing that's all you need to do okay and learn to pace it off okay learn to pace it off so you're gonna fall through and go all the way very smooth very relaxed okay you're gonna take it back again practice swing back is slow through Back slow, very slow, very true, very relaxed. Back and true. Enough to pop, drop it in. Okay? So that's the tip for you, Darren and uh, Theodore. It's very good practice for every one of you out there. Let's say we're going to head out, cup's going to shallow off. If that's the new way of playing the game, this is how we're going to putt. Okay? Unless you have uphill putt or a slow green, you can go a little firmer, but in general, the ball's not going to go in. Okay, you may kick and come up if you hit it too firm. So it's a very good practice to have. Again, knocking. I'll summarize that real quick. Knocking action meaning this. Okay, this is good for long putt, 100 feet, 50 feet up the hill, outside the apron. Okay, now that's happening because your backswing is too big and they try to stop it right on it. That's knocking putt. Number two reasons why is because too quick, you can't stop it. Your rhythm is too quick. That's why you hit it. Knock, the ball flies away. You need to learn how to slow down your pace, slow down the, the rhythm, take it back, short, take it through, short, follow through, short, follow through. Get the ball enough pace to drop it to the front side of the cup, enough to drop it in. That is the pace you want to have, especially for now, with all the new practices, the cup is shallow. Got that? All right, good, excellent. Parting is over. I hope all of you are enjoying this so far. 
Are mm. you? I don't see any thumbs up. Hmm. No thumbs up today. Are you are you listening or you're so engrossed in what I'm telling you? You're diving in, ready for tomorrow, right? Heading out to the golf courses. Are you? Yeah, thank you, thank you. I see the thumbs up now. <laughs> okay. Second one, interesting. Get some water. Okay. Hey guys, those who just joined in, thanks for watching. Ask Live Golf Live show. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the first session. We talked uh, after the warming up and fitness. We talked about putting, uh, how to hit, you know, why is a knocking putt not good and why, how to actually use it as an advantage for a longer putt. Now, uh, we're going to go into the swing review of this young man, 12 years old from Malaysia, Corner Liu. Corner, thanks for joining. Thanks for the question. Thanks to your mom, Elaine. For sending it in. Okay. Now I will show you what's happening to his swing first. Okay. This is his swing in general. Remember, you're watching the mirror image here. This is a live uh, selfie mode on Facebook. I'm using my iPhone right here. That's corner. That's his swing. I told him to do it without a ball because he tried to go full speed, right? Okay. Alright. And that's his iron. Okay. And, uh, okay, let's go, let's dive into it. Now, uh, not only for corner, this applies to corner, but I've seen this problem in many of my students in the past. Okay, easily 20%, 30% even, I can go up there. Having very similar problem. Um, we talked about this in the past session before, about inefficiency in the swing. That's losing power, you're losing accuracy because of certain, certain angles. So it comes back to impact position. Now I want to show you, this is corner's back swing at the top right here okay not too bad actually but it's notice his head his head starts to move back so the first problem he had okay corner your first problem is when you set up with your irons the woods is about the same problem actually but pretty much the same problem you had a little bit of this as you go up you watch your head your head goes this way Okay, you have that. The moment your head goes this way, again, your head is not aligned anymore. We talked about last lesson, two lessons ago, right? You want your entire head and your spine aligned when you take your back swing, keeping it in the same position, right? So yours is this way. Got that? So the moment you do that, pressure is over here, right? Then it's gonna dive, you're gonna start to sway slight on the way down. The chances are you're gonna slide, it's very hard to go back the other way gonna flip it back so that was the first problem you had okay based on the video okay now watch tiger that's the angle that you watch okay that's the comparison All right that's the head stop the lean towards the, towards the target tiger stays and actually actually turn away from it Okay, to get a little bit more with his shoulder, matching it. Now, on the way down, see that? You slide. Okay, watch that, back swing, down swing. Okay, I like your hand position, corner. Yeah, corner, your back, your arm position is very good, everything's fine. Yeah, you're holding the hinge beautifully. But watch the down swing. So your entire head is slide halfway through while Tiger stays behind that red line. You can see that. Okay? His lower half is sliding through there, but his head is staying behind. Right? See the difference now? Okay? 
impact position. There you go. See how far, how far in front you are? Okay, I call it catching up. You're playing catch up with your hands. Your body's already returned past impact position actually. Okay, whereas your hand is still trying to catch up to impact. That's where you lose control. That's why you all the bad shots you cut, open up the toughest has to be open at this point unless you flip it. Okay, unless you flip it. The tiger. That's where you want to be. Head is still in position. Hands are a lot forward. Hips are a lot forward. Right? That's where the impact should be. Talked about impact position. Look at his, his shoulders. Right? Still square. Almost like set up position. Right? Doesn't open up. Look at your shoulder. You're facing the sky already. Okay? At impact position. Right? So what happened after that? I'll show you in a minute. Okay? So, so corners, your, your issue is this. You start with the head. Forgot my glove. We're, we're plotting up now, right? Okay. Got it now. No wonder I feel pretty weird on my grip. Okay. Now, so, again, towards the top of the back swing, your head starts to do this. Okay, then you come in, you slide, your head goes forward and you go down. Okay, and then impact is continue to go up, open very early, whereas your arms are stuck behind. Okay, your legs are way up as well. Okay, that's the stuck position. In this position, we talked about impact back drill, right? Right? If in this position, there's no strength, look at that, I'm pushing in my this corner my arms are tucked in I'm gonna push it there's no strength at all okay there's no strength at all watch it's gonna go like that okay see your chest facing you and impact that's too much okay there's no strength pushing the back it takes a lot of energy so you need to get your chest facing more impact position like that that's how it looks like okay your right foot still down heels up a bit kicked in that way see my shoulders I'm lining up at you that's impact position and not like that, okay? It's down here, right? From there, very easy to push it. Got it? Okay. So that's that's where I want you to be. Now, um, you can see your uh, follow through, All right? Okay. See how it hits slides forward, okay? Same thing, see your hands are so far behind, your arms are open up already. Impact position. See how you flipped. Okay. So, very obvious when it's forged from this angle. Thanks for the, the video. Okay, I broke it down. See your head level. See how much you drop on the back swing, try to come down. Okay. Once you drop, what's going to happen? You're standing pretty upright here, okay? You have some knee bend. But the moment you get out here, see how much you drop. So the moment you did, you should have the knowledge now. What's going to happen? Yeah, Jing Shen, what's going to happen? Yeah, his, his hips has to come forward, right? Try to push it out, right? See that? There you go. Okay? There we go. Look at the impact position. Whole, whole back is bowed, right? And his, his, his back foot is turned up and coming up. Okay, very prone to injury. And watch after impact. Watch after the impact. Look at the red red circle. Look how much he has to shut the club face to square it up. Okay, that's why when it comes to your iron, if you don't flip it early enough, you will go right. You slice it. Okay? Otherwise, you hit it straight. But you're compensating. Okay, that's what you don't want. You can see your hands is way up already. You're trying to flip, flipping it already. See that flip now? That's a lot, okay? You try to match it up, preventing the ball from slicing, from going to the right, your right. Okay? Same as the driver. Now the driver is, is uh, so the moment you flip, that's why your irons, you, you missed it, your irons are going hooked left because your club face is so sharp when you flip it. You have no choice, right? You flip it, your ball is going to miss it. You flip it too early, it's going to go hook. That's what's happening to your irons. Whereas your wood is opposite because it's long. Obviously, your back swing is overkill, too far behind. 
Okay, it's, you must follow your back swing like your arm. You don't have to go all the way back. Okay, down swing, same thing. The hips going forward, turning forward. Okay, see that? So your hands is trying to play catch up, but because it's the driver, it's long, you could not catch up on time, so your driver missing slides to the right. Whereas your irons flip it, sharp face goes left, so it goes opposite direction. Okay? See that now? Alright? So there's a lot of, uh, I say golf, golf thing is a chain reaction. You can't always compensate. You always compensate. So you look at your iron swing, you come down, go this way, and then you flip this way. See your arms? It's going this way. Right? You try to flip it and doing this to get it back. That's why you do it too much too early, boom, goes left. Okay? You match it up, you go straight, but you lose a lot of energy doing that. So we talked about this before, right? Arms going impact, straight. See how straight it is? Straight, straight, straight. You don't need to flip at all. That square right here, okay? To your body, square right here. Then from there, it starts to point up the sky, and you start to roll only when it starts to get here, okay? In this position, okay? Get the mirror, watch that, watch that. Watch this position, watch this video again. Okay, get the mirror, watch that position. That's where you wanna go, left shoulder, and then finish on that position, okay? Your right leg needs to be down, hold it. So you need to get, if you can, you need definitely need an impact back to practice, a lot. Okay, if you can't get an impact back, use your golf bag. We did that a couple of lessons before. Use a hover sack, put it heavy stuff, put it on the ground, the grass, okay? Start doing this, impact. Copy that, right here. So your chest is still facing down to the ball. It's like impact, it's like setup position. See that, set up, see that, that's it, okay? Hands a little bit more forward, that's all. So your legs kicked in, but my heels no, start to roll, okay? But it's, I'm not up here, not yet, okay? Keep it down, hips going forward. Get that position, a thousand times, right there. Pushing the back, right here, okay? You don't want to be doing this, got it? So you just practice that, and everything should match up. Once you're at the range, you're hitting out golf course, I know you're going to do that, or the backyard, okay? Hand everything straight, this is your checkpoint right here. Okay, hit half swing back, come down, get the impact position again, impact back, and chip it. Okay, chip 50, 60 meter with your 8 iron or 7 iron, right here, stop right here. Get that swing worked out with the ball. Okay, right foot down, and you stop it right here. Boom. So you don't have a flipping motion, you don't have downward motion, okay, and you don't have playing the catch up. So all three will be fixed by one drill for you. Got it? One drill. Watch from the front again. Okay. Remember the impact position here? Yeah? Okay, take it back. Just about waist height. Okay. So your, your head maintained, don't go down. Okay. Just come down impact position. Okay. With the right foot down. Right here. Then you chip it and turn it through. Okay, turn it through, put the arm straight, straight with, right there, okay, so you don't have that flipping action, doesn't stop, don't stop right here, arms doesn't stop here, all the way through, face the target, stare it down, point it straight at it, okay, with the right foot, a little bit down, don't come up too quick, you will see a difference once you translate into your driver, got it, I think what your, your kind of problem is very common for kids growing up, uh, because again, once you grow up from a young kid, she's been playing for six years. So starting from six years old, probably your club's a little heavy, a little long. So what happened? Everything's flowing. Uh, I'm going to try to go that way. It's, I see that a lot. I see that a lot. So for those who are starting their kids early, please bear in mind, get the proper club. Invest a little bit more. Like weight, like shaft. Let them start with proper, proper club. So they can handle better. So the mechanics are much better as they grow up. Don't have to change so much. Okay, corners. I hope I solved the problem. Okay, now you need a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of range work actually. At the backyard, at the range. No, no excuses now. You, you unlocked, you can go on and do it. I'm not sure how the schooling works now in, in Malaysia. You seem to go to school in the morning. If not, just backyard, do a lot of stuff in the backyard. Don't even need to be at the range for now. Okay, just backyard, do a lot of that swing, what I just showed you. Okay, once you're at the range, hit balls, do that 50 meter half swing chip. From here to here, okay? Waist height to waist height. Just do that a lot. You got quite a few things to work on.
right? Once you do that, again, WhatsApp me, show me how you're doing it. I want to make sure you're doing it correctly. Okay, we'll fine tune from there and let's see how it progresses. The moment you fix here to here, next thing you know from here, easy. You feel so much power coming down and boom, right here, right in front of you, here, instead of that position. All right, hopefully that helps, okay? Hey guys, uh, for those players who have the same problem, if you know you're pretty much like that, in terms of your golf swing, if you can see it, if you know it's pretty close, you can use the same drill, all right? Use the same drill, it will help you to sort your mechanics out. Uh, those locked down at home, best time to do it. You can do that drill also. It's like chipping under the trees, right? Seven iron, instead of 100 meters, you hit a seven iron 80 meters, or instead of 150 meters, you hit a seven iron 120 meters, or 100 meters, with that short little drill, okay? That will solve a lot of problem. Your head level, impact position, getting more efficient right in front of you, and on the way through, everything is straightened up. Okay, so it doesn't flip, doesn't doesn't get outside in, inside out. All everything will be soft. It's a very good drill for all of you out there. Thanks for the thumbs up, guys. Love it, love it, love the energy tonight. Kota Permai Country Club. I believe the same goes for Horizon Hills. Okay, this is how they're sanitizing the buggies. All right, before getting all ready, it's gonna be everyday affair now. Great job, Kota Permai. Okay, preparing for uh, tomorrow opening of. Uh, big golf course. Um, like the way they did and set up. See that little, little set divider between the players in the buggy? That's fantastic. Yeah? That's fantastic. Slide it down. So you're on your side, I'm on my side. Yeah? That makes it safe. So you still can have two players on the buggy. No issue. Right? No issue at all. Very nice. And. For caddies, they have caddies, right? See that? Perfect. At the back of it. Okay? So all your, if you're driving, the road wind's blowing through, so if you do have any sliver or anything else, it won't flow back to the caddies, right? So it's good. Keep them safe. Fantastic. Um, beautiful. Golf course looking great. Now this is what I liked. COVID-19 advisory implementation of operation measures. Okay, it's got all this, all this set up. Very good. This is this is what I'm looking for. I think a lot of golf course should follow this, uh, this uh, advisory. Uh, some are already known, but some are pretty good practices. Compulsory temperature screening, of course, up front. Uh, sanitize hands regularly while at the club premises. Uh, there are sanitized stations everywhere around the club. Observe social distancing of no less than two meters uh two meters social distancing Q markers are there too control entry in post on changing rooms very good that's important uh guys if golfers out there if your cows are pretty near don't don't shower don't go there and shower use the changing room okay bring your own clothing just wear a t change a t-shirt and get out let's go back home come on let's do that right for now for now um own towels and own toiletries and courage. Very good. I like that. I like that a lot. Do not share towels, foods, drinks, utensils, and glasses. No sharing at all. Okay, bring your own. Um, compulsory disinfection. Disinfection exercise to all golf bags, sports bags, and shoes upon arrival and after completion of game. Give it a spray. I talked about that, right? First one at the top. Okay, give it a little spray, all your golf bags, your sports bag, your shoes, and before you go in. So you don't bring anything in and don't bring anything out. Very good practice. Wear mask at all times while on club premises, except when dining, store or dispose appropriately. Mask available upon request at golf and sports reception counters. But um, it didn't say you have to wear a mask while playing. So Bangkok is different, it's compulsory, you have to wear a mask while you play. I think it can be quite difficult, uh, especially under the heat. Although you're not running, but it's, it's been pretty difficult. So uh, I didn't mention there, so I would suppose you don't need to wear a mask when you're playing. Okay, makes sense. Um, there's, uh, there's only four person, right? Adhere to registration schedule or advisory. Early registration not recommended to ensure crowd control in changing rooms, starter points, plus 
other facilities and areas. Okay, about registrations. Uh, payments via credit card and coverage. Pay wave, don't touch, no 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 money, no cash. So cash not cash is not encouraged. So try to get go pay wave and pay now or whatever that is. Okay, digital. All right, no money involved. No no cash transaction. I mean, <laughs> no cold hard cash. All right. I hope that's uh, that's that's cool for most people there. It's a new normal. We just gotta accept it. The way we golf, golf courses are are, are trying to change their way too. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, maybe lesser people, lesser tee time, buggies, single buggies. Cost gonna cost more for some golf clubs. And uh, Kota Prima is doing great. I mean, a lot of example can be used over there. And uh, I'm sure the uh, online stores and and uh, MSD stores. All around your tech shop, everything is ready to go. <laughs> right, KP? Your guys are all ready to go in Malaysia. Well, Singapore has still got some time to go. And, uh, hopefully, we get to do that too pretty soon. Good question, Vito. Good question. Hmm, where would I go? I, the closest probably will be JB. <laughs> Just to drive across. Um, I'm not sure how my lesson is going to kick in. How my schedule is going to go. I was pretty, I was so packed before the lockdown. Everybody's heading out to the golf course. Uh, for lessons, so uh, I would say the first one will be across JB golf courses in JB um, Three favorite course in the Johor, right? Forest City uh, I got Els Club Horizon Hills. These are my top three to go to go uh, to go to uh, So let's let's see. I haven't fixed anything yet. I don't know when it's gonna open um if I can go further away, I've actually got a flight ready for me in June. <laughs> I haven't cancelled yet. I'm supposed to be in Bali. I'm supposed to go for Bali holiday. Yeah, Bali Handara. Yes, you're right. Bali Handara is a very special golf course for me. A very old school, but the the whole atmosphere, the whole experience, man, the bonfire, nice little hot little wine and whiskey out there cool weather up in the mountains and the people there is so so chill it's everything just relaxed I think I'm gonna get away we'll see we'll see yeah next place a uh, couple of good places no I haven't uh, been, been in Bangkok for a long time I like to hit there nice a lot of new courses I haven't played before so I love to be there and try it out um, another favorite spot is Da Nang my favorite golf courses there a beautiful spot for golf uh, I love I love Danang because the hospitality is there. It's still not super commercial yet, yet, but the golf courses open up and all very very high standards. Hoyana Shores, uh, yeah, you know Hoyana Shores is up there. Uh, beautiful beautiful facility by by the beach. Lynx Golf Course, um, it's it's just awesome. It's just awesome out there. Uh, Bana Hills, you go up the mountain. Just everything is about an hour away. That's all, which is great. You know, stay in the city. Nice people, nice seafood. Uh, Bana Hills, beautiful. IMG manage. Uh, and the people there is great. The managers there are so chill, so fun. Man, this, I love the people. It's, well, it's about, not about golf course. It's also the whole experience, right? It's always the people. It's the, the soft, the hospitality of the people. That makes it different. If you go there, nice golf course, yeah, high and by. No connection. Don't feel anything. It's different. So, last talk about last three holes going in situation. Uh, one situation that I will create now as a example, Jingxuan, for all the tournament players out there, or even you're playing for a league, or you're playing for club medals, or even social play with your mates. Okay. So if you're going in behind, now you're one or two stroke behind. Okay, you don't. The leader can be in the same flight. Okay, or outside. Let's say it doesn't know. Doesn't matter. You don't know who's the leader, um, but you know you have about two strokes away. Okay, you saw the scoreboard. Your leader is not playing with you. You have three holes to go. Again, the leader may make mistakes, but you don't want to rely on the leader to make mistakes. So it's down to your character again. Are you satisfied with second, third position, or or are you gonna go aggressive, try to chase that that person with two stroke behind? Think about that. For me, I would chase it. You don't get into those position often. One, two stroke trios to go, chaseable. It's definitely chaseable. Anything can happen on the other side. But you need to keep track. That's why I said you always need to keep track on the scoreboard. 
don't be shy that people say don't look at the score what it puts you in a different position that you want to play safe and everything no to me learn how to watch the scoreboard okay tiger does that that's a good example tiger watch that all the time some people don't rory try to fade, fade away sometimes but you cannot because the board is so big right uh, crowds clapping for you uh so you have to you have to watch that so by coming down a stretch two strokes behind go for it go for it meaning don't not every single shot right focus on the drive if it's a par three put it on the green but it can be a little bit more aggressive again red amber and green give it give it three status you're going to go for it or should i amber or is that a, a green flag okay if it's amber and green go take a bit of risk go for it if it's a red flag maybe not it's a tough it's a tough position unless i said you really feel good you like the fate it's a fate although it's tough but it, it shapes towards your your natural shot the club is your favorite club at eight iron into it then you go for it got it so these are the evaluation you need to have on that spot on that day but the key is to fire away but how so this is one of the scenario if you're in a par five you know you can get close in two or reach the green in two go for it give it a good drive give it a good drive you want to take that line that aggressive line go for it right two stroke behind come on three stroke three holes to go not not much already right not, not, not many many holes left you want to give yourself a chance you don't want to regret that's the last bit you don't want to go in the clubhouse and say oh i should have played that one a little bit more aggressively i knew i'm two stroke behind and then he fell he fell back one stroke so i'm one stroke behind what right you probably regret after that i say oh i'm short by one because i didn't go for the par five right or after your drive your second shot yeah i got water got obstacle whatever but you know you can reach you got a good 60 percent chance you hit it well you clear it would you go for it go for it what's different between number two number three number four honestly you're not playing for money now but even though you're playing for money you know being a champion and being number two number three number four that's the difference okay losing being the second third drop another stroke that's fine i go for it so if you're par five go for it if you're par four you put it down the middle first give yourself a good chance at iron shot that's where you fire at a flag so those are the times to go for it not every single shot if your driver is not in good position okay chill i play my shot Better put it in the middle of a green, two par walk away with a par. I still got two holes to go, two strokes. You still get that, okay? So again, if you're not in position, don't fire. It always comes down to red, amber, and green. Evaluate that situation. Evaluate your confidence on that shot. Then take a little bit more risk. Be a bit more aggressive on the last three holes if you have to. Doesn't matter. So, so what? If I lose it, I lose it. And people tell you, oh, if, if you won't know what he's doing, right? The person, the leader, him or her, you won't know. The leader might go OB one hole and he dropped back two stroke and next thing you know you you also drop back two stroke because he hit it OB you took the risk but that's life right you can't predict you won't know what happened behind you or in front of you it's on the other flight right until the scoreboard's up and a lot of times junior events uh, uh, amateur events you don't have scoreboards so you have no choice okay if you do know yes you go for it if you don't just play the holes that is okay Unless you have the flight mate, you're on the last flight, you know the flight mate is right in front of you, is leading by two strokes, you want to beat them, and you got three holes to go, that's different, match play. So you can watch everything's going on. Hit, she hit a bad shot, boom, there we go. I'm going to put it in the middle of the green, make it to a part, walk away. Okay? Unless I have really confident I go for it. So again, you start to evaluate like a match play, if it's on the same flight. Got that? Hopefully that helps. That's one of the strategy you can uh, impart into your game. All of you can. On the golf course, if you're playing a match play or a stroke play in a league or a monthly medal, right? All the time it happens. Okay, I guess it's time to go. Got a lot of work for me. And I got tons of stuff preparing for the next one to one week. Uh, you're going to see me very, very active online, all my platforms, uh, my IG. Okay, lip wing in my IG, my YouTube. Uh, guys, uh, if you want to watch the edited mo uh, version, uh, all my shows is edited on lip wing. Watch on the big screen on, on HD. Uh, just watch it there. Okay, I edited there. 
my editing skills get a little better, I think, I'm improving. I'm still changing different software, I'm still learning different software to make it better. Again, this, this is my, my hobby at the same time as my career and what I do. I love to do that. Uh, hopefully I give a pre better presentation. My sound system is getting a lot better now, more consistent. Things, things get better, right? It has to be better. Every show has to be better too. Hopefully it excites all of you. Uh, we can get some fun together. Every si hey, Gui Lance. How are you? Lance, actually. Lance Gui. Good to see you, bro. Uh, every night is going to be surprises. Uh, different, we'll cover different parts. Long game, short game, driver, club data. You, know, you name it, we we'll cover it. Golf rules. Yeah, we've got some, some superstar rules officials joining here. The past and yesterday too. KP Ling, CC Boo from Johor. CC, come on, CC Boo, where are you? <laughs> thanks for the thumbs up, Bakti. Thanks for joining, Bakti. I'm Bang Amri is here too. Bakti, let's have a game soon. They're gonna open up, yeah. Yes, let's go, Masters 2021. Whoa, yeah, good question, good one there, Masters. There we go. This this one excites me. I haven't got an opportunity to play on the Masters course on Augusta National yet. Why I say yet? Because that's still one of my bucket lists. Okay, this is one of my bucket lists. I normally all this I was in the Masters for five years covering uh, the ESPN Star Sport commentating, but um, I don't go around hunt for signatures. It's not me. I never do that. But except this guy, I got one. I got two of this actually. This signature. That's Tiger Woods, guys. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger Woods. Uh, that's the legend that I, I respect the most. Um, done a lot of good things for the game. And it's a great guy. Yeah, he changed a lot. Um, people make mistakes, comes back stronger. Makes him stronger. That's, that's, that's why I like him. Yeah, he's my idol. Um, that's the only guy that I took signature at. And I got two of them. I'm keeping it. One, I gave one to my dad. My dad said, "Ah, oh, no worries, son. You keep it." You know, it meant more to me than him, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, Malaysians out there tomorrow on the golf course. Share everything here. If you like the show, please share it too. And there's a review page up there on your mobile or your computers at the site. Hit that review button. Please drop me a single note. Just a single note in there. I will totally appreciate your reviews on on my little golf page. Share the page. Share the show and let's enjoy the love of golf. Remember, golf never stops. Love you guys. See ya. See you tomorrow night. Same time, same place. Ciao.